uh, hi uh, everyone sorry for the delay hello yes. good evening good evening sir good evening sir good evening good evening sir just a minute i will just good evening present sir. my screen to you maybe just give me a minute yeah good evening sir yeah okay so today is uh, revision session 1 and 2 uh, sorry week 1 and 2 so whatever doubts are there related to that so, uh, okay mostly is, so there is a there is an outline of this to, uh, session today what we'll do is we'll discuss the concepts along with some uh, you know questions or maybe the numerical examples so i'll request all of you to just at least try those numericals okay first try the numericals along with me just try to solve the uh, questions okay fine sir so, if some sir uh, if hmm. someone has doubt please try to take it at the end of the concept yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah. Sure, sure because it will take yeah that's what that, that it will like switch the session too much so it's yes. better we'll uh, like uh, we stick to whatever we are uh, going to plan right okay thank you thank you okay. let's start uh, so i'm just sharing my screen here okay so is it visible yes yes sir yes Okay, so I have added the uh, link as well. So is it visible? The screen is visible, right? Yes. Okay, fine. Okay. So we so, received an email that uh, mock questions are loaded on the portal. Yes, yes, yes. Mock, mock, uh, mock question paper is also loaded. Okay, so, so you can. It is not there. Sorry, it's not there. Not there. Okay. Maybe just try to refresh it and. Uh, it will get uploaded okay just try to okay. maybe okay and i think uh, before solving this mock right just try to solve the questions within this today's session that will help you in solving uh, the mock questions as well for week one and two at least okay, okay. so this this is not required right what is machine learning i think all of you know what is machine learning uh so yeah so it, it's basically dealing with the data with the use of computers uh what are the applications of machine learning uh, okay, these are the some you know very common applications we are seeing here. So predicting whether an email is spam or not. Uh, this is a very important applications of machine learning. Uh, forecasting companies' revenue for the upcoming year. Uh, this is also very important. Uh, recommending a product that a client may be interested in. This one, past experience. Okay, so these are uh, some of the applications of machine learning. There are two types of models of machine learnings. Uh, one is predictive models. Another is uh, probabilistics. So uh, maybe if you have prior knowledge, you know from statistics that which are the predictive models and which are the probabilistic models, right? So maybe you can see that Bayes theorem uh, or the the models which are based on Bayes theorem, right? So for example, naive Bayes uh, uh, naive Bayes models they are probabilistic models, right? Predictives are uh, those models which are okay. For example, linear regression, it's a predictive model. So based on the data, you try to predict uh, uh, the output. Uh, and linear regression is that kind of model. Uh, probabilistic is mostly uh, you can see the, uh, the models which are based on naive base, right? So these are uh, the probabilistic models. Right? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Here, here are the example of predictive models. One is predicting the price of land based on its area and distance from the market. Similarly, what's uh, what is there? Predicting the uh, House prices, right? Based on uh, different aspects of houses or different attributes of houses. For example, uh, you can see the area of the house, uh, the number of bedrooms in the house, right? 
uh, these kind of attributes are there based on those attributes to try to predict the price of the house uh, then predict the amount of rainfall in uh, 2022 based on the prediction uh, pre pre precipitation uh, of the earlier year right okay uh, again classification model so i think this is not a good thing uh, only based on the previous year's data predicting the rainfall i don't see that's a, a very good model uh, will be there at least we should have like 5 to 6 years data or 10 years of data right so based on that maybe uh, or more than that so if you have good amount of data i think the prediction uh, will be good. okay but that is a different thing classification models are predicting whether an email is spam or not right and there is predicting whether the patient is having cancer or not so these are the classification models probabilistics are models used for evaluating how likely an event or a configuration is okay okay i am going this little bit faster because i think all of these things you know right so just not uh, going into much details here okay this is uh, supervised learning uh, okay there are two types of uh, learning one is supervised and uh, another one is one is unsupervised so what is supervised sir in which uh, the data as well as labels are there yeah so uh, for so uh, for example uh, you, whatever data you are having uh, you know what is output of it right like for example uh, if you have the image data for example so if you have uh, uh, let's say cat right cat cat's picture and you have that label given to it that is it is a cat's picture if it is dog if it is will know that it's a dog picture right so you have this kind of uh, uh, already we know what is the data given and what is its label label means so when the, the training data are available right yeah yeah uh, in the training we have availability of these labels right so based on that we try to predict when the new picture is give, uh, given to you it is a cat or a dog or any other uh, you know category so that is called the supervised one and supervised is we don't know what is the label so we try to cluster that data and try to find the information or the pattern out of it so mostly the pattern recognition uh, comes under unsupervised learning supervised is we know what is the output label to that right okay again uh, if you have this data given right so let's say the data is in this format x1 y1 so what is x1 here is is it one uh, uh, one information or it's an array of information so array Array, right yeah. so it may be like uh, okay if 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 y is my prediction of a house price right then what will be x x1 there criteria criteria yeah. of the house yeah so for example area of that house uh, then the rooms the number of rooms number of rooms the distance from the nearest metro station the distance from the nearest bus station right so all these will be have the different attributes for x2 and y2 and Uh, for n number of uh, you know examples so these are called the training examples generally so this is the, this is the kind of data will be available to us and what is our model will do we wanted to find a function such that uh, the function of this all array of information will try to predict what price. the exact price where well, loss is minimum right? right yeah so that means it's approximately equal to f of x i should be approximately equals to yi right and what will be the loss here in this case so uh, let's say uh, if if we are thinking about that x1 y1 pair what will be the loss the 1 by 2 uh... no no it is okay loss okay what maybe what I, i'll say what is the error here what will be the error first of all sir the difference between the value we are predicting and the actual value yeah what does that mean f of xi Minus y one, right? Yeah, sir. Yeah. Right. And okay, and that error can be negative or can be positive, correct? Yeah, sir, definitely. But uh, but okay, that is fine, right? It's it's like we don't worry about the sign. We don't want that sign to affect my loss function, right? Loss function. So what we do for that? We'll square. square right? Yeah. We'll we'll do the square, and that is what here uh, we have done here, right? F of x i minus y i to the square. So because why we are doing this? because that negative sign should not impact our uh, loss function so this is loss function and loss function how to calculate this loss function 
we'll we'll try to find out what is the average loss right so how to find average loss dividing by divide by n n right so what are the, whatever the number of examples are there we'll divide it by n so this is the basic loss function for a regression model uh, and you know like you understand what is it right okay. sir one thing if uh, uh, in the further weeks it is said 1 by 2 right mm -hmm. so if it comes in the Sorry, exam two, what we need to n. take 1 by n or 1 by 2 one by n only right okay, like why why one by two one by two means you have only two, two items two items right correct no sir but in week four it was told like we need to divide it by one by two for the loss function i don't think so it's week like, yeah week three or yes, four sir. guys in week three or four in least three is like linear algebra right i, I don't know in least question in least when they were te when he was teaching the loss function for this linear regression he said that we need to divide it by 2 so that the two cancel out with the numerator uh, when part we, when we do derivative the gradient, gradient part gradient so if it comes in exam what we need to take 1 by n or 1 by 2 okay okay fine fine so I, 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 I maybe i'll check with that uh, but generally it should be 1 by n only right because okay i'll show you how it will look like fine Sir, what is mean by negative loss or positive loss? Yeah, that's I will tell you. And sir, one more thing, please differentiate between the validation data and the test data. Okay. Not, uh, that is not a difficult task. Okay, I'll tell you everything. I'll tell you this. So what is regression problem? Generally, it will look like this, right? So let's say this is x, this is f of x. So I'm just thinking about what here? Only one dimensional data. So linear input and uh, so one input and one output to it. Before finding the Okay. So here uh, we'll see. So let's say these are the data points. For example, some for some value of x, I have some uh, data point here. Okay. Uh, for other value, let's say this is the data point. Data point. Say the data point, right? Okay. So let's. I don't know. Like whatever. Uh, can you say like uh, which is the best possible line uh, going through this data? Suppose this is the line, okay? Going through the data, okay? Is it okay? So I will consider this as, uh, uh, shall we say, uh, data point one is data point two is data point three is four and this five, okay? We'll say uh, these data points as this. I'm not saying, uh, or shall I write uh, some x1, y1 to this? I think that will be better, right? Okay. So this is, let's say, this is x1, y1. Is x2, y2, x3, y3, this is x4, y4, and x5, y5, right? All of you understand where is x1, x2, uh, these things, right? Like, okay, let, this is x1, yeah, yeah. x2, right? And similarly, like this. So I'm just not writing it on the axis, I'm just writing there, uh, there itself, right? Okay. Uh, what is Okay, let's say if this is x1, what is this? This point on this line, the straight line, this is f of x1, right? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Maybe I'll try to uh, draw in this way, maybe it's too close to this line, right? Like uh, I'll try this point somewhere here, for example, okay? This is x1, y1. So corresponding to this x1, this is what? 
this is f of x1 right and what is this here it's y1 correct yeah. yes sir yes so the difference here is what it's a loss loss, loss or i can say error error, error. So what is the error here so let's say this e1 is equal to what f of x1 minus y1 okay let's say f of x1 minus y1 can you uh, say like by, by looking at this picture itself can you tell me uh, will this error is positive or negative 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 right because f of yeah. x1 negative. f of x1 is y1 uh, is bigger than f of x1 yeah right so this is negative okay so i can say this is negative I, i'll whatever value i'll get this is negative so this is negative error or negative loss similarly if i try to see for this what is this point f of f of x2 right this is what f of x2 and what where is y2 y2 is somewhere yeah. here so so, so this error is what f positive. of x2 minus y2 is positive, positive. yeah right so similarly we can uh, think for 3 4 and 5 so the collective errors are what so e is equal to what e1 plus e2 plus sum e3 plus e4 yeah. plus e5 but what will happen if i do this error sum so some so the, some are positive some are negative so what will happen let's say the total uh, positive negative will give me zero so do i learn it from uh, do i learn anything from this no sir no right even even because okay there are certain differences here right but okay whatever this difference is if i take the sign along with it then this is going to make me to my total error as zero and what does that translate to any person okay that that means whatever line i, I have drawn that has it's a perfect model that perfect is a model for this right that means it is going through all the points correctly that's that's the uh, uh, you know impression i'll get but yeah. this is not true so what we do is we'll try to square those errors right sir instead of squaring why don't we take the positive modulus is also fine no no that is also fine but generally this uh, this is uh, i think it's it's a better thing to do okay but th there are certain you know uh, there we have the, you know uh, we can take modulus also but why we take the square only it is having some uh, what do you say okay okay proof so, to it also but okay we don't go into that details right those are not included so i'm not just talking about it. so suppose i do this this will get me some positive thing right whatever this is positive but uh, okay this is this is the positive error but now this error is again like it's like too much right like i, I it's not like individual error what what we should do generally to average it out so divided by number of yeah. per root what i'll get is e square per per data point right yes sir right so and that is what we needed so whatever error we are getting this is the average of it so you can see here uh, in the slides what it is showing this is my loss okay this is a loss function generally for uh, the regression okay then what will be my model here f of x w1 x1 plus w2 x2 plus w1 xn plus some constant b so what is this uh so w1 w2 to wn these are what these are some coefficients okay parameters yeah yeah and these are coefficients these are the parameters and generally they are weightages so uh, our prior knowledge is there right like some some knowledge we are having or if we don't have also will uh, there are certain methods to you know get those correct uh, weightages or parameters right so uh, or coefficient i'll say in this case now but generally these are okay for example if i say uh, does area of the house uh, will add more to the price of the house or does the distance from the metro station will add to the price of the house more so the, the the better thing is okay if the area of the house is larger it is possible that okay the prices are higher but this the the other thing is like if if this is in the you know a very posh area right very uh, the area where all the things are very nearer in that case the prices of the houses are higher right 
so you can see in the bigger cities the prices are higher than uh, like uh, in the smaller cities right why this happen why this happen the same area is there for both the places but since all the uh, amenities are present there or all very uh, uh, nearby things are very you know uh, very closer to uh, for commute or everything is there that's why the prices are higher in that cities right and other things also other factors also it will include so what we we'll do is if if this house is in this area then we will provide a bigger coefficient right bigger weightage corresponding to uh, the houses in some other area right so all these points we have to consider and according to the weightages are given uh, so i'll say it is based on the experience or it, uh, sometimes it is based on what uh, we can calculate those weightages also so techniques are available for that too so generally this function will look like w1 x1 plus w2 x2 plus w1 x10 plus b uh, why this w so do you know you know the matrix right so this is a dot product correct w1 x1 plus w if i yes, want sir. to be in a matrix space so it is a dot product so how to write that w transpose x right so w yes, transpose sir. b so my function will look like this f of x is equals to w transpose x plus b okay and this will go here and then i'll call, calculate all the loss so then it is it will become a loss function right okay. this is what about regression okay this is the question uh, okay i think the answer is already given okay now ah, yes uh, sir why we are adding b here b okay uh, loss function ha huh, i understand so it's, it's in the function right like b is some parameter actually it is kind of you know uh, okay i maybe you will need it noise intercept ha huh, yeah that is intercept but that is mathematically right but how okay so actually this this is needed to you know uh how to say it uh, for the noise is yes so noise if you are i mean like i don't know are, are you guys comfortable with the noise like so this is kind of adjustment yes right? sir it was not in week 4 okay so this is mx plus b right so generally we have uh, this kind of thing right so what is error error is what 1 uh, by n fx uh, no that is okay that is correct only this mx is the No, no. error is something uh, connected with the performing the test okay fine i maybe we will we, we'll discuss that later so just, just think about that this is like okay when you go for uh, so whatever data you collected right the data may have some noise how what is what do you mean by noise noise means any mistake that is happened while collecting the data right so uh, for example you go to somewhere and you just because it's a manual thing right to collect collection of the data so we tend to make the mistakes and to avoid those mistakes we may take those uh, things into account and by giving that b there we try to uh, you know uh, so that model has to become uh, since it is a linear model right we are not saying that this is some uh, quadratic or some other model so we'll try to add that penalty or i can say here in this case it's not penalty but yeah you just think about it like we are just adding something to reduce that noise i will tell you about that also it's not a problem but uh, currently you just think about it like we are adding that one extra coefficient there okay fine okay sir thank you yes yeah, okay anyway this example is already given here so yeah so we have already seen this uh, okay maybe i'll just do you want to solve this or but uh, answer is already there so i don't know no sir it's it's, it's direct no need to it is straightforward yeah. it's direct right. no okay. need to okay maybe we we'll solve some other examples i have some other examples with me so we we'll solve those examples okay so just think about it uh once i'll complete week one slides we'll solve questions on week one okay and then i'll complete week two slides and we'll solve questions on week two okay so sir test yeah, validation data 
okay ab after this i'll maybe i'll okay you. okay sure okay. after classification just uh, remind me if i move forward so yeah okay so again uh, again classification is what it's a supervised learning right so the data will look like this only so data will be in this format x1 and y1 so x1 will be the vectors so these are the arrays or vectors i can say of different attributes right okay uh, and here whatever data we are having it's in d dimensions uh, but the output is not in d dimensions right or output is not a real number correct previously what was there if you see linear regression the okay it's not given here but uh, yeah it's there so you can see uh, this is a mapping from rd to r right so d dimensional data is my input and my output is what one dimensional data right real number but here uh, my output should be what uh, is is or, or my labels are in terms of plus 1 or minus 1 okay it, it's it's whatever whatever we are talking about here is a binary classification that's why we are having two labels here okay what is plus 1 and what is minus 1 so it's a two classes right generally we say it is a positive class and one is negative class but it's not like negative positive it's like two classes so suppose uh, we have like lot of images or maybe you can say uh males right so we, our uh, model is predicting whether the male is spam or not so i'll say if it is spam then i'll say it's a positive class if it is not spam i'll say it's a negative class whatever you can say uh depending on label right whichever you wanted to label it for plus 1 or minus 1 uh accordingly we'll set up uh, the class for it right okay sir is the outcome always binary or no no it can be there, there are maybe more than two also yes yes we can have more than uh, one category right so the output can be changed but generally see this was the first week so sir has introduced only up to the binary classification we can have more than than uh, more than that classes right okay uh okay, there are techniques for that too also but okay then the, if you go uh, in further machine learning courses maybe you'll learn there right okay uh, algorithm outputs a model okay same so if my data label is plus 1 and minus 1 data label is plus 1 and minus 1 then definitely my uh, uh, model will like my my output of the model will also be plus 1 or minus 1 okay what will be loss in this case it's a misclassification error right yes sir so sum of all the values that are predicted wrong divided by wrong yes yeah. so that is a misclassification error so suppose uh, my test data is uh, uh, is from positive class because we know it prior right like or or maybe you can say whatever uh, okay shall i show you or is it fine for you okay maybe i'll take some examples here suppose x y okay so suppose this is 1 2 these are my data points okay and maybe 3 4 3 6 4 these are the data points okay and i said it's plus 1 plus 1 So, or uh, maybe this is the data uh, given to you right so can you tell me uh, the data how like which uh, in which format it is there this x1 or is a x and y right so x and y is fine but uh, how many dimensions are here it's r2 right So two yes, dimensional data, right? Two, two, two and and it is giving me what? R. R, but uh, this is not R actually. This binary. Minus one, one or one. one. Right. Yeah. So if you can actually uh, look at this data graphically also, you can visualize it. So you can see here. So how this data will look like? One and two will be because one. Two. So this is the data point. One three is here. Two, three. Suppose it is here. Okay. Where is three, four? Uh, three here, and it's a four here. So it's three, four. 
three six will be six somewhere here and four six right okay so i wanted to classify this one uh, so what is this this is negative class right it is given to us right that's why it's a supervised learning right i have already known this is a but uh, let's say i have some model let's say f of x is a model right and whatever the model is uh, and whatever let's say uh, my model gives me this thing okay so what is the error here what is the loss or error here so how many uh, data points it is uh, showing uh, wrongly so this this is actually minus 1 but my model is giving as plus 1 this is minus 1 this is minus 1 that is fine third point it's giving negative class that is fine right here it's plus 1 minus 1 that means here also there is a wrong uh, classification and these sir, are sorry, the sorry sorry to disturb sir what is the model we have taken sir no no i didn't take any model i just it's, let's say How some model is no no i haven't taken it i'm just saying you like this is my oh. assumption that okay my, uh, according to my model uh, some some f of x is there okay, okay so sorry go there. ahead sir okay so accordingly uh, let's say these are the two data points where i get the misclassified right that means the classification is not correct so i'll say what is how many points out of the uh, okay how many errors i have got two errors right and what is the av average error then in this case because i have six data points so divide by 6 so it is 1 by 3 right so this is what here so 1 by n uh, and whatever so this is called indicator variable right we'll see that indicator variable while we do some examples right okay Sir, how did you get one by two as an error? One by two, no, one by three. One by three. Okay, how many? How many of the data points? Like where I did the mistake here, or my model did mistakes here? Here. One and huh. one and four. This one, right? This is a mistake, and this is a mistake, right? Yeah. So how many mistakes I have done, or my model has done? Two. Two. Out of how many? Six. Six. So. That is loss, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Fine. So. Okay. This is. Let's say this is the example. Uh, x one minus three x two. And what is sign means here? What signum. Is signum. Yeah. What is signum? Sir, it's a signum function, right? Sigmoid function. You are saying. Signum. Signum. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Maybe. Okay. I I just call it sign function. Okay, fine. So okay. what 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 does it give? Uh, it will give me uh, whatever the sign that inside whatever that uh, let's say x one minus three x two is there. Negative. Yeah. So based on that, this it will take a sign. So in this case, for the first uh, this is training example, right? So it's one zero. So x one minus three x two. So x one is what? One minus zero. It's plus one, right? So it will take plus sign, right? What about this two 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 minus six? So what is the value? Minus four. So it will take the sign of that four minus four. So that is minus. That's why it's minus one. Understand? So likewise, we have uh, calculated this. Uh, so how many mistakes my model has done here? Or misclassified? How many times? One. One Only mistake. One, time, right? one mistake. One mistake yeah. out of how many times? Six. 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 So that is my average loss here. Average. Uh, this is called misclassification error. So it's one by six. Okay. Fine. Okay. So somebody has asked me what is test data and validation data. Yes, uh, sir. I asked. Okay. So generally, uh, let's say. Okay. So I'll I'll just. Go back to my some. So suppose you have a uh, thousand data points, right? So for example, you have a data and you have thousand 
x and y so let's say you have 1000 data points so, right so these are the 1000 examples you are having okay um, and obviously you have all the uh, labels corresponding to this 1000 um, inputs or or 1000 access right so in that case can you tell me uh, what you should do first first you have to do the training right what yes sir training so we'll learn we'll try to learn some model right so suppose this this is an f of x so we'll try to see which of the, which of this f of x is uh, giving me better results what does that mean by better results the error, error is less. less right yeah the error or i'll say the loss is less right correct so uh, okay so how how do you do that you'll find you'll try to find out uh, the values of f of x right and then you'll check whether this f of x uh, corresponding to this training example gives me lesser uh, errors right okay you did that but that is fine so uh, suppose my example is i'll take again the simple example i'll take is uh, what finding a cat uh, right or so my let's say i wanted to check whether uh, or my model is to check whether a picture given to me is a cat or not okay the simplest one right so uh, what what should i do for that i'll feed like 1000 uh, examples of like out of this, those 1000 examples uh, maybe let's say 600 are of cat okay let's say there are 600 cats and 400 other images other images means it, it can be anything it can be dog it can be elephant it can be uh, building it can be whatever right but my my uh, output what what it should be my y should be what it's either a cat or no right it's simple yes, one. Sir. so if it is cat i'll say plus one if it is not i'll say minus one okay this is a simple thing so uh, okay so out of this thousand examples i tried to learn the so model f of x and with that model i'll say that uh, let's say my loss is coming very uh, you know it's minimum loss and i'll say okay this model is a good model for me currently uh, okay that is okay I, I learned some function i said that this is fine now what 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 happens like next i have to use this model somewhere right okay whatever you do it should have some you know uh, significance regarding to uh, okay maybe i wanted to earn the money right so i i have, I have created this app that that uh, will like if somebody some user is there if he throws any picture to me i will tell them that okay uh, this picture is a cat or this picture is not a cat correct yes I sir to, i have to get some uh, out of it right okay so some new picture is given to me that is let's say it's 1001 i'll say okay but it should be a new one it's not in this thousand examples this is a new picture and i have to tell based on my learning now i don't have the label right for that correct previous previously i had uh, pictures and i i know that what what that picture means right i said it's plus one plus one means it's a cat minus one means it's not a cat but for the new image I do not have the label. I have to, or my model. Uh, now I, my model, whatever learning I am having, I should tell based on my model that this picture is of what? It's a cat or not? Okay. So this new picture is called what? It's a test. Test data. Yeah. Right? Test data. Yeah. Test data. So what is what does that mean? Test. That means whatever I have learned based on my learning, I am giving a test. Right. So, so you learn within this week one to four, and based on your learning, you give the quiz. Right. So, yes, what sir. learning is there? That is your training examples where you will get all the lectures. You will get the uh, you know instructor live sessions or some other things or the questions with questions with answers. Right. Okay. But uh, in the quiz, you will get some new uh, thing, which is. Uh, which is not the same as you have seen previously, right? It's similar, but it's not the same. Based on your experience, you just write the answers. So
so that whatever quiz is there it's a test data for example okay so now now you understand what is training data and what is test data right yes yeah, sir yeah i got it okay training and test is done now what is validation so sir, what uh, so the training data training data is basically the data that is uh, used to define the model correct yes which is used to you know uh, yeah find Define which the model. model is having a least error so that we can least use error. It to yeah. test the te test data points correct we can so, use that model to test the future data points yeah and in and uh, okay you understand right like the training data is used to find a best model best model, model yes. means uh, okay. yeah with the less error but yeah, that minimum error yeah minimum error but how now the question is uh, how do you got that error 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 calculation we done uh, because i i have some let's say why i know previously right what is this some label let's say, we have already yeah, let's say this is cats and this is building right <coughs> i have already this uh, with me right based yes. on this only i have just told it. but is this a sufficient data which i am training on is this only 1000 examples will be uh, good enough to get a best model mm. that is the point right see yeah okay these are the 1000 examples maybe these are the very good pictures right high definition quality high quality pictures uh, of mm. cats building or dogs or some other things right but let's mm. say uh, okay my my user gives me some blur picture of cat right then my model uh, will my model will work on that test data point it's difficult right in that case it's difficult right yeah. or maybe maybe some other uh, uh, you know okay so that problem will be solved by adding number of more examples to the training data right that is one thing but why the validation data set now that is a question right why okay you understand what is training you understand what is test so yes, sir. why why validation set is required or what what is the validation set so generally there are different types of validations Uh, so the most common is i think k fold cross validation data set right there are others but okay uh, one of the impo like uh, very common is uh, k fold cross validation what does that do is so out of this 1000 examples uh, you split up this data into let's say 800 and 200 uh, data points or maybe 700 and 300 uh, data points okay so we'll train our model based on this 700 examples okay and we'll test that model on the remaining 300 uh remaining 300 examples and we'll check whether this model learn is good or not before giving it to the test right so you understand so before i am okay okay taking something from user what i'll do is within the whatever whatever we have 1000 examples says right? we'll try to uh, uh, you know split that data into two data sets okay we'll use some of the data to train and the remaining data to test okay understand so this this 1000 this 1000 is not the same as the initial 1000 of training data correct no no this is same same only same so this oh, same, okay. same initial training data I, now i what i did is I split mm. that into seven, three hundred, seven hundred and three hundred. Seven hundred and three hundred. I trained on seven hundred, mm. and I try to test on three hundred. And why I'm doing this? Because I know what is the correct label, right? For three hundred also. Yes, sir. I got it. Yeah, sir. Mm. Yes. So, so yeah. now I'm getting like proven model, right? Mm. Okay. So I'm I'm checking that if if I train on seven hundred, and uh, uh, I'll check within my capacity only. whether my model will work or not on the new data point right if it is not working that means i have to change the model correct so yes sir so this is called as a validation data set okay, okay. Again, so again, the 700 is the training data set 300 is a validation hmm. uh, is it is yes, test yes. data now where yes. is it sir i got it i got it sir it's like uh, before the prep the final preparation the data we are using for testing is the validation data and yeah. after the full preparation is done so I, yeah the real so, so time I, data yeah. we are getting that is the test data yeah so so i'll i'll take that example of our quizzes only for example let's say you train on 
what practice assignment questions lectures right and you yes, test sir. for yourself uh, on the grade assignment questions yes sir right but you have the answers before the quiz right yes sir so you can check your ability over there now what you do is you go to quiz so quiz is your test data test data. test data okay okay, okay. very good Pract example sir Practice very good assignment example. grade assignments and whatever the data is it's your total training data because you are training over there right okay sir what so, okay but but this is uh, this is not like whatever i told you this is just an example but this is not exactly it will work so you will say right why is this 300 and uh, 700 and 300 okay so generally that split up is there but what they do is they will take first 700 and they will uh, take 300 for testing now what they do is they will take this 700 okay let's say this 700 and uh, use this 300 so they will use like all the combinations of 700 300 700 300 within that data to get the more accurate uh yes sir, to reduce the bias yes because yeah, you yeah. cannot say right like 700 maybe all the 700 will contain cats right then this will not work on this validation data set right understand my point yes so sir i got say, it out of this th thousand initial thousand if my if i chosen this 700 as my training uh this 300 as validation okay and let's say all the 700 are cats then my model has learned on only cats yes sir. but then it will not work on this validation data set it will give me a lot of error so what i have to do is i have to choose this one as a training for the next round and this has validation then i will do like multiple rounds of it so that my model will become robust okay, okay. and that sir sir will... algorithm used for this is k fold cross yeah, this validation k -fold. right yeah, this okay. K fold. Okay. There are others also, but I'm just giving you the example of this K fold. Okay, the, the number of folds depends, like how many. Uh, so here in this case, I'll say, what well, I don't know. Maybe so in this case it was good, like 800, right? Uh, if it's K fold, K fold means let's say if I wanted to use four fold, so it it will take like 800 and I think 200 something like that, right? But okay, that this is not important. Important is to understand what is uh, test and validation data set, right? So I think you understand of it. Yeah, it's called definitely. subset of data. Subset of data. Subset of training data, I'll say. Okay? And test data is a, a, entirely a new data, which is coming from somewhere. Somewhere outside. Right? From the user, I will say. That, this yeah, sir, yeah. Is yeah, that yeah. Uh, we, we use Either test data or validation data, uh, only one we use. Uh, if you use no, 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 data, no, no, use... test data, no, no, test data we have to use. Test data is entirely a new data where we wanted to check uh, our model is correct or not, or our model is giving the correct results or not. Fine, uh, that is another thing. Second, uh, as you told in second steps, uh, like uh, uh, we split data into two parts. Okay. Uh, data sets, uh, 700 and 300. Uh, mm -hmm. Here, 300 is the test data, 700 is the training data. And uh, what uh, data set will be called validation data in this case? But no, no, no 700 is no, 300 will be the validation data that you validation are talking data about. Set. Yeah. Okay. And the new data will be provided? Uh, test data. We, that is the test data. Okay. okay. Apart uh, beyond uh, this, this 1000. Yeah. So out of this 1000, if let's say these are 700 are there, 700 I'll say it's a training data, 300 I will say it's a validation data. And the new data will come out of like this is the new data is not the part of this thousand, right? That is okay. a different data set. So data set or maybe yeah, new point or new data set, and that is the test data. So validation uh, data is a, a little part of uh, training data. We yes. keep it aside, and we keep the training data to first devise the model, and then Correct. we test this model in the validation data to check Correct. whether the error is less. And once the error is less, we fi we finalize that this is the day model that we are going to use, and then yeah. we uh, use the test data to test this model. Correct. Right. right. Sir, make it simple now. All Sir. these three data are different buckets. No, they are not duplicated anywhere. No, no, no. They are not duplicated, right? That's they cannot. Right. Then right. why do we really confuse that one? Training data and test data is taken together, but not used in other area. So let's put it simple. No, no? But your, uh, the, uh, but the slide shows 
sir, but the slide shows in the validation data, uh. it is a different uh, data other than the uh, training and test data. Validation. But also it tells that one it is not duplicated, no. So it simply... See, see, it's simply... It's a subset of data. Ah, okay. data, not uh, training data. It is a subset of the data. Total okay. data. Okay, okay. Maybe don't sir, don't worry about it. Venn diagram. Possible. No, no, Venn diagram. Venn diagram is like okay. I maybe okay. I'll tell you the thing. Okay, this is x. Let's say this is y. Okay, I'll say this x one, x two, right? And this is y one. Fine. So, or I I don't know that. Like, maybe uh, should I write? Okay, is it okay if I use the single thing? You understand this, right? So yeah, sir. Let's say it's one one input only. Okay. Y two, Y three, Y four, and Y five. Okay, fine. Is this okay? Okay. Yes. Sir. So what I do is I will use uh, only these three things out of the five. So these are all given to me. Okay, all five. That is why supervised. It is called supervised learning, right? Okay. So I'll use this three to find f of x here. Fine. Okay. So I'll get some f of let's say x1 is f of x2, f of x3. Okay. So this is this I'll call as train data. Fine. Now what I'll do is so out of this, I'll what I'll do is I'll calculate some error, right? And I'll find some f of x. Is it okay? Which is a model, right? Let's say I have this, this is my model. Okay. Now what I do is I use this model f of x to uh, check whether my model is giving me the correct uh, results or not. So how do you how should I use this one? I'll calculate f of x four, right? Right? And now I'll check that with the, uh, whether this is uh, what f of x four is uh, near to f y four, right? And f of x five is near to y five. So if this is going correctly, if if it if it is approximately equal to this, then I'll say that my f of x is pretty much correct. Fine. Okay. So when I use whatever the given information to me uh, to validate my model, so I'm just using this data, right? To validate. Validate that this learning what I have done previously on this data set on training data set. Is uh, so uh, whatever model I'm getting is a correct model or the best suited model, right? So I'll validate that this is a best model, and I'm validating how using this remaining data set, right? This is called as validation data set. Fine. Now, uh, after okay, I, I'm done this with the validation, everything is uh, done, and I am satisfied with whatever f of x is there. Now what I'll do is I'll just take a new data point x6, and now I'm asking. Now I'm going to predict or classify whether this x6 is a cat or not, or maybe whatever, like whatever label is there. So how do I do that? F of x6. I'll find f of x6, and I'll throw an output. Okay, this is a cat. I'm saying that this is a cat, or this is a cat picture, or this is not a cat picture, right? So this f of X or this f of f x six is called as test data point. No, but test data the, the is not a part of. It's not a part yeah, of we this. We know the correct label or not, no sir. No, we, we don't, don't know. know right? what is the purpose we don't of know. Test data. No, no, test data is like. See, you have to predict. Okay, tell me. Okay, because ultimately, when it goes to the market, uh, whether our uh, product is performing correctly or not, we are not able to evaluate. Uh, okay, I'll tell you. Okay, one minute, I'll tell you. Uh, simple example. This, uh, for example, do you know a house price prediction uh, data set, right? You know that, right? At least. Yes, yes sir. sir. No, okay. the, the so, so, is, no, no. I will tell you. I will answer. Answer. I understand. I will answer your question itself. So suppose I have given some attributes of houses, right? These are, let's say, some attributes of house, houses, and these are, this is the price of house. Okay, fine. So you have devised some model. F of x. So suppose f of x is what? Uh, maybe let's say five x. Okay. This is okay. Now uh, what I say? Let's say x is area of house. 
okay and i say that uh, the price of my house is five times the area of any house right okay now someone someone comes to you and said that uh, i have 200 uh, or maybe okay 1000 square feet of property so this let's say this area is in square feet now what what you will do how to uh, predict the price of that house you say it's like 5 into 1000 right it's 5000 yeah. whatever, whatever let's say i don't know rupees or lakh whatever you wanted to say mm. but how did you say that based on what you have learned already right so this should be correct right this this has to be correct or maybe this has to be very close to the correct price okay but uh, currently you don't know so somebody said to you that the, the, there is a property of 1000 square foot at this area uh, are you willing to buy it or not or uh, or you say you or tell me what is the predicted price of that house you said it's 5000 rupees okay but whether the correct uh, property of the price is 5000 rupees or something else we don't know right it may be 5000 or it may be more or it may be less but this is your predicted price and mostly it, sh it should come along uh, like it should be the uh, similar or something right okay uh, if you don't understand this i'll maybe i'll take one more example of it suppose you wanted to predict the score of a match fine predict the score of the today's match suppose what you do is you take the data of previous few matches okay based on that you will predict the score of today's match okay you will say uh, india will make 350 runs in 50 overs okay you say before starting of the match that india will make 3000 uh, 350 runs in today's match and how did you say that based on the previous experiences of indian matches on this pitch or whatever so the attributes will be uh, what is the ground what is the weather condition whatever whatever the attributes are there based on your previous experiences you said okay india will uh, score like 350 runs today okay you predicted that value 350 but do you know what india will score no right maybe india will score 350 maybe india will score more than 350 maybe india will score less than 350 320 mm -hmm. whatever but if india makes near to 350 or maybe let's, let's say 340 runs 360 runs 345 runs you say that whatever model you have learned is the good model right mm -hmm. but it, if if your model makes 350 and india made like 320 runs or, or no not 280 runs right okay this is one test point so you you may say that okay this is possible that because someday they don't perform well but uh, you say uh, see some more five five more matches on this ground and your model will always predict the 350 scores for example okay 350 or near to 350 now tell me if out of these five matches if you are able to predict the four scores very near to this 350 or whatever the thing then your model is successful right so this is test thing but what is training here whatever the previous matches has the happened past matches yeah okay and within that let's say past 10 matches you are thinking about let's say you said i i will take eight matches for training a model and the two matches to predict to validate yeah and the two two models are the validation models okay then you will you will be confident right validation will give the, you the confidence even though you have you know the results right but you try to predict based on the eight matches experience but you now you know the results already right so suppose your results were like for the last two matches as india made like uh, let's say 318 runs and 325 runs okay and your model based on the previous eight matches predict uh, like uh, it gives you the runs as let's say 330 for both the matches then you in that case you say okay whatever i uh, learned from eight matches this giving me the like very correct like not correct result but approximately good results so these results so i'll become very confident on my model and i'll go with that model to predict the next upcoming matches okay so this is the whole point you understand now what is train validation and test data yes sir yes sir yes sir Fine. Okay.
Yes, sir. Okay, unsupervised is uh, okay. Dimensionality reduction. So generally, why we do that is okay. There are two, 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 three types of uh, unsupervised learning. So one is uh, one of the important properties, dimensionality reduction, is called as a compression and simplification. So why do we do that is uh, because sometimes you have like let's say fifteen or twenty attributes, right? Let's say uh, while predicting the score, like maybe I don't know, uh, maybe. Between the house prices, there are fifteen attributes, but uh, you don't know those. Are, you don't require those attributes. Okay, okay but the, the thing here is, don't consider it as a supervised learning. So unsupervised, where you don't know the labels. First, first important thing is, the data is such that you don't know the labels of the data, right? Whether you don't know is it a cat or dog or something else. It is like some data is present to you. You need to cluster the data into some useful information, and use that information to, uh, you know, understand the thing. So dimensional reduction means I don't want to use uh, that many dimensions, right? Because it is it's become it becomes you know uh, computably uh, very you know expensive, right? So dealing with the suppose I'll say dealing with n cross n, so n is like let's say 30 cross 30 matrix. And dealing with like twenty uh, cross twenty matrix, which is the cheaper one, computationally also, and uh, you know again the money is involved, right? Everywhere you go, uh, whatever data you are learning, uh, your computational power uh, will be like converted, like it's equivalent to money, right? So if you are using uh, a difficult computations or it, uh, uh, very you know, uh, so I say if it is computationally hard, then You're spending more money, right? So I don't want to use that, uh, or I don't want to spend that much of money. So one of the important is uh, important thing is it's a dimensionality reduction. Okay, I'll, I'll just talk about that later. Maybe uh, okay. So we'll see some examples. This is one of the examples. If you see, it's this is an encoder decoder model. What does that do? So we compress that encoder. What will do? It, uh, let's say if this x1, x2 to x10, this data is it d-dimensional, we'll compress it to d dash dimensions. So if this is 30 dimensions, we'll compress it to maybe you know 20 dimensions. Then we compute, uh, or or then we learn something about uh, that data, and then again, uh, again uh, user readable, right? Whatever we have uh, compressed, we have to take it back into the same dimensions, right? So that is called as a decoder model. So you see that uh, how this will work. Okay. So what we have done? Maybe I'll show you some examples. Like I'll show you the calculations there. Uh, but here the important thing to notice: what is my loss? Okay, so yeah, this is fine. Okay. Uh, another is uh, density estimation. Okay. okay this uh, we will see the examples of it. Okay, I just I won't talk much about the uh, density estimation and and for a decoder model.
सर विल यू ऑल्सो बी कवरिंग वीक टू टूडे Yes. No, it's not a break. I'm just uh, uh, showing you that uh, you know uh, questions we'll solve. Some four or five questions we'll solve on week one, and then we'll move to week two. Okay, any noises coming from my side? No, sir. No. Sure, right. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I'll just. Well, uh, I'll give you one question to solve. Uh, just see that and try to solve that again. The density reduction and uh, all those things, right? Dimensional reduction and density uh, work. That is that is not easy to understand without the data. That is what I feel. So that's and this is not like uh, no. It it's very introductory uh, class actually. So that is very difficult topics. Those density reductions and uh, I don't think we may be able to touch upon that too much here. See, I think entire your uh, MLF, right? course uh, this will not uh, include density uh, dimensional reduction uh, so whatever unsupervised learning we didn't touch upon much there that's why i'm not uh, going on through that right? you won't get the problem in uh, you don't get the no you get you get the problems but they are very less like very uh, you know very simple problems so i'll show you that one it's okay. not like i won't show you the problems but those are not i'll say the exact representation of uh, what is density so the very it's like very advanced field okay it's not like very yeah. easy to understand zoom zoom it sir is this from previous year question paper uh, no i think these are some practice questions uh, i don't know from where it is so i have got this so from my team i'm just using it fine so this is a question try to solve it i'll just uh, be back in one or two minutes
So let's let's solve it now. Uh, okay, I'll I'll try to solve it here itself. So these are the dimensions, right? Like x. So how many dimensions data is this? Three. R three. Okay. And uh, this is what the labels. These are the labels, I guess. Uh, labels of zero one. Right? Okay. Uh, okay. So what is our model here? This one so Z, Z, yeah. Right. So if I wanted to calculate, so let's say this is Z. What is Z? Z is 0.5 times x1 minus x2 plus 0.4 times x3. Okay. What are x1, x2, x3 here? x1, x2, x3. These are the uh, inputs. Right. Inputs. So, okay. so what is uh, Z1 here? is 0.5 times 0 uh, it's 0 minus 1 plus 0.4 so this is equals to point minus, minus, minus 0.6, 0.6. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if i uh, do it for second data point what will happen 0 0.9 point, point 0.5 plus 0.4 this point 0.9 similarly if i use here it's point 0 0.5 five. here it will be uh, minus 0 0.9 Minus zero point one, and here it is uh, minus zero point five. Uh, minus zero point five. Okay, right. So uh, okay, and what is our model is? So if if so if z is greater than or equal to zero, I should throw one, right? Yeah. So okay, let's say this is u. So u is important here. Okay. So, is learned on this. So, uh, what will what it will give here? Zero, right? For so whatever positive values are there, we are getting ones here, and apart from that, it is zero zero. So, how many uh, misclassifications are happening here? So, for the first example, zero zero, this is correct. Second one is one one, this is correct. Third one is also one one, this is correct. Fourth and fifth. These are the two examples where we get the incorrect, uh, or may, maybe we have misclassified there. So, what is the loss? Mis two by what five. Misclassifying loss? Two, two by two by five. five. Point four. This is the correct answer, right? Okay, fine. Okay, this is the second question, right? For the data set x i y i, consider the regression model f of x x square plus one. What is the mean squared loss of f of x? So, uh, do you want to solve this? Like if I wait for two minutes, maybe I'll wait for two minutes. You try to solve. Fine. Right? We'll write down the table here. I guess the way. So okay, solid now. So for uh, first, what is this? One square plus one, two. Two square plus one, three. Three square plus one, ten. 
4 square plus 1, 70. 5 square plus 1, 26, right? So, Sir, what second is the value is 5. It's Sorry? Second value is 5, not 3. Uh, 2 square plus 1 is oh, 5. Sorry. Yeah, fine. Thank you. Okay, so what is the loss here? So this, two, this is what? F of xi minus y, right? Can I can I write it squared loss? Because we are calculating mean square loss, so I'm just doing it. F of xi minus y to the square. So 1 minus 2, it's minus 1. Minus 1 square is plus 1. 6 minus 5 is 1. Square is 1. 8 minus 10 is minus 2. The square is plus 4. Again, it's plus 4. Here it's 0. So the mean squared loss will be 1 plus 1 plus 4 plus 4 plus 0 divided by 5. So it is 10 by 5, right? Is equal to 2. Okay. So that should be the correct answer. So here, what will be the average misclassification error when the function g of x is sine of x1 minus x2 to the whole square minus 8? Fine. So let's. I will directly write it down because uh, then we do not have much time, right? Like, so I think all of you know uh, as of now how to solve it. X1 minus x2 to the whole square minus 8. So whatever sign is there, we are going to use that sign. Okay. What are x1, x2 here? These two points, right? So 5 minus 2 square is what? 9 minus 8, 1. 5 minus 6 is 1. 1 square is plus 1 minus 8. So it's minus 7. So sine of it is minus 1, right? 6 minus 3. 3, 3 square is 9. 9 minus 8 is plus 1. So it's 1. 6 minus 4 is how much? 2. 2 square is 4, 4 minus 8 is minus 4, sine of it is minus, so it's minus 1. 4 minus 8 is minus 4, so the square is uh, 16, 16 minus 8 is, uh, so it's positive, so it's plus 1. Okay, so how many uh, uh, misclassification happened here? This is correct, first one is one. correct, second one is correct, third is correct, fourth is correct, right? fifth. So this is the misclassified uh, data point, right? This is the misclassification happened. So what is misclassification error? 1 by 5. By 5, which is point. Okay. Which of the following is or are true about loss after applying encoder decoder functions? Okay. So maybe we, uh, maybe we'll solve the question on encoder decoder and then we'll come to that question. Okay, I think that will be a better thing. So f of x1, x2, x3 is equals to x1 plus x2. This is the encoder function. Okay, this encoder function. Okay, and this g of g is equals to u, 2u, 3u. This is a decoder function for dimensional reduction of this data set. So, okay, you can understand, right? This is unsupervised learning. Why? Yes. Labels are not given. Correct. Yeah. Labels are not given. Yes. Right. So, now find the loss for the encoder decoder pair. First of all, what you have to write is you have to find f of x1, x2, x3. Then you should find g, g. of ff. Okay. So, g of f. f. Yeah, and then you can, so this is encoder, this is decoder, and then you can find the loss for it. So shall I solve, with, uh, solve this with you or you want to try this? If you want to try this, we just take two minutes, then I'll solve.
Okay, so let's solve it. So f of x one, x two, x three is what? X one plus x two by two. So here it is. One plus two is what? One point five. Right. It's one point five. Here it is. Right. Minus point five. Plus point five. Okay. What will be its uh, decoder function? One point five. U two U three U. So it's one point five. Three times one point five three, and Four. three times. Right. So you can see that uh, you can actually observe this. Uh, this is encoder function, right? So it's encoded. So it's so. What was the dimension here? R three to R one. R that goes to R. Again, we have to decode into the R three in the dimension, right? So we did that. Okay. Uh, okay. So two three four is two point five. Now it is two point five. Uh, I seven point five. Is it two point? Okay, yeah, it's two point five. Two point five five seven point five. Yeah. Point zero five. Wow. It's minus one, not point one. Ah, it's minus one, no. Minus. Two point five uh, one, sir. It is. What is it? Zero point. Okay. Is it not visible? Like one. That's one. correct. One and one point five. Correct. Right? Yeah, sir. But uh, the above thing you have Additional not written it correct. Extra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It will be minus one. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Fine. Okay. So I think this is fine. Now we have to find the loss for this uh, encoder decoder pair. So how to find the loss? Norm. Yeah. So norm of what? G of x i minus x i, right? So okay, norm will maybe. And can you tell me the answers later? First of all, first of all, uh, first for first pair, what what it should be? One point five minus. One. One. Mm -hmm. One square, right? One is okay, yes. plus. Three minus two. This is norm, right? Like generally, you have norm like this, right? Plus four point five minus three. I don't know what is the answer. Point five square is point two five plus one. Okay, maybe this. These are the calculations. Okay, maybe. Three point five. Do we have the same question there, or uh, we had different question? This was a different question. Okay, fine. Uh, okay. So do you do you need me to solve this like all the values? Can you can you solve this like? Three point five. Yeah. So this. With all this, you have to. Calculate. So you you have to calculate for all others, right? Okay. But calculate others, and how many data points are there? Five, right? Hmm. So you whatever loss is there. Four. Is there. Four data points. Ah uh, uh, yeah, yeah okay four four. So four data points you have to divide it by four. That will be your uh, loss. So what is the final answer? I don't know. You have to calculate. No, you just calculate all the values. Okay, okay so That's somebody can confirm whether uh, it's correct or not. Okay. okay. So I think this is week two questions. So before going into week two, can you solve this real quick? The loss will be can be equal to any B. real number. B. Yeah. Yeah. B and D. B correct. A is also correct, right? It can be any real number. No, Does sir. It, how? No, sir. It cannot be. It's only positive real numbers. Oh, I mean, it's R plus. Negative. Yeah. It will be yeah. B. Because B answer will like, be. It, we have used norm, right? So this is correct. This is not correct. Uh, B is correct. Fine. Uh, a perfect encoder decoder function will not exist for any data. That is, loss value can never be equal to zero. 
for some data there can exist a perfect encoder decoder function that is loss value wrong statement which one so d is d is, is a wrong statement yeah d, d is d correct is yeah. d is it, correct sir. yeah yeah because for some data right there is possibility that for some data we will have perfect encoder decoder function that means will compress to some smaller dimension and after decompressing also uh, we, we are getting the same number yes sir right? so that is possible right okay fine so i think these are the questions from week 1 you you'll get uh, this also i'll share this slides also with you so then we'll now we'll go to uh, the week 2 uh, these are continuity differentiability linear approximations which already we have seen right in one of the weeks so i just uh, you know what is continuity right so left side limit if 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 left left side uh, left hand side limit is, is equals to right hand side limit at certain x star right or at certain x equals to a then the, we will call this as what a continuous continuous function, right? we have discussed it uh, previously also what is, this is the definition of differentiability uh, a function is differentiable at, at x equals to a if uh, the limit of x tends to a f of x minus f of a divided by x minus a uh, okay this is also again the left hand side of this if it is equals to uh, the right hand side of this limit if that is correct then it is differentiable so what does that tell you every differential function is a continuous function right but uh, vice versa is not true right every continuous function may or may not be differentiable yeah. sir okay fine uh, linear approximation uh, do you know this formula linear approximation formula yes. how it comes so i'll write it once again here linear up okay. what is okay how does that come i'll tell you that also so if f dot of x is what slope it as x tends to a yeah uh, f, f of, of a. x minus minus a minus f of a divided by x a. minus a. a so i'll just remove this uh, limit here and we are saying that this value is approximately to this at some x equals to a okay so around x I'll say it's around x equals to a. Then this will become what? Then f of x will become what? F dash of x into x minus a divided by f of a. Not divided by first, f, right? F f of a plus f dash f dash of x into x minus a. Right? Is it correct? Yes, yes sir. This is not equal. This is approximately equal uh, around. x equals to a and this is called as so sir has used x star right so i'll i'll maybe i'll use x x equals to x star and this is x star right this uh f of x star dash of x star and x minus x star and is correct is for lx star of f uh, which is a okay fine so this is the formula which is a important formula in this week 2 uh, this is correct right this you know right uh, uh, if if this is a linear approximation we are finding a linear approximation at any point Uh, on a curve, then that this the the, the linear approximation will always be what tangent, uh, tangent to uh, that curve at this point at that point, right? And still again, it's giving you the same thing uh, y equals to f of a plus f dash of a. So same thing. Again, uh, this is actually I think it's proof of what we have written uh, previously. Quadratic approximation is what? so i'll write okay this this formula maybe is not uh, so quadratic approximation is right, quadratic so how this comes is not needed uh, this is not important so it's like you just have to know that this is quadratic approximation so what is quadratic approximation 
this is equals to what or not equals to uh, is nearly equal to f of x star plus f dash of x star f dash of x star into x minus x star x minus x star plus, plus f double dash, dash of x star f double dash of x star x minus x star whole square minus x star the so whole square divided by two factorial yeah two this is a uh, yeah two factorial or two factorial so it's a kind of a Taylor series we can able to see that so yeah so this is the quadratic approximation okay next we go it's higher order okay higher order we just don't deal anyway but uh, again so what he said is like two factorial right we'll have three factorial and that will be like third or fourth third differential yeah third four differentials it will go on okay this is uh, this is important or is this the same thing okay only for yeah uh, multivariate linear approximation right this multivariate linear approximation formula Sir, will these formulae be provided in the sheet or? Uh, okay, I have to check. I, I don't know. I, I don't know yet. But uh, maybe uh, when Nikita will take the session, right? Just ask her. Okay. Her if she okay. is smart. Yeah. So what is it then? F of, or I'll say L of, right? So it's two dimensional. So what will be the value? You can actually uh, tell from above what it should be. F of? F of A comma B. Like star comma A star. A star plus partial differentiation with respect to X of? X minus X star. X minus X star or X X minus X star. <coughs> no, no. Star. Right. And of X minus X star. Correct. Yeah, sir, it's correct. So this is this actually okay, I don't know. We can see here this is maybe it. F of A B actually. Right, so this is AB is we will write it like this X star Y star. Say like this. F Y star. Okay. It's okay. Into Y minus y star. Fine. Okay, so fine. Uh, next will be directional derivatives. So, what is the directional derivative at any point? Okay, I don't know. Okay, so shall we see the directional derivative uh, while having while solving some questions? So this directional derivative is uh, with respect to two dimensions, right? So we have to find the gradient. First of all, we have to find the gradient and a gradient at a point, and then we have to check in which direction we wanted to find the directional derivative. So in which points means? We have to find the unit vector of it and we have to uh, uh, take a dot product of this unit vector. So maybe we'll solve some questions over there and then we'll see. Okay, so this is it from uh, week two. So let's solve some questions there. So just take some uh, two minutes to solve this. So which of the following statements are true about this function? Mod x divided by x square when x is not equal to zero 
and it's zero when x equals to zero. So which of the following options are correct? Just take two minutes to solve this. I'll come back. Just show the question here. Yeah. I think some of you have uh, solved this one. Okay, well, let's. Okay, we have to check whether the function is differentiable or continuous. So first thing to check is what this function is continuous or not, right? Okay. Yes, sir. Maybe you can check uh, the other thing, but okay, fine, it's fine. So how to check the if it is continuous at x equals to zero? So f of x is what? mod x okay it is already given so i'll say should be equal to what zero right okay so this is indeterminate form what should i do lhl rhs minus x by x square sir mod x equal to minus x Mod x x. Sir, for left hand side, we will can we write it like minus x by x square or for right hand side x by x square? Yes, sir. We need to break it into two. Okay. Okay, so how it will be like minus x, right? X square yeah. and left hand side, left hand mm -hmm. limit. Okay. And right hand limit will be x by x square. So you just solve your own approach. I don't know it will work. No, it's not. fine. It's fine. You just tell me. No, it's not. You guys have to write the exam. <laughs> it's important for you, right? Okay. Fine. Tell me. Tell me. Next. Yes. Sir. Yeah. Tell me. Then what I have to do? I have to put zero zero there. Still, it's an indeterminate form, right? Yes, sir. Then we cancel point? minus x with x square and x with x square. Okay. Minus 1 by x and plus 1 by x. Okay, so limited x tends to 0, minus 1 by x, and limit as x tends to 0, it's 1 by x. Now? We have to apply the differentiability rule. One zero plus h minus f of zero divided by h. In that form, it will get one by 
one will be plus infinity, other will be minus infinity. So it won't it won't exist at x equal to zero. So here also you can see uh, if you put zero here. One is going to minus infinity and no, going to plus infinity. Plus infinity. Plus infinity. It's right. not continuous. So this is not equal to. So both these numbers are not similar, right? So whatever number is there, you can say that. So the, okay, this is correct only. Sir, so, it is not continuous for all points, right? Ah, that is okay, but it's fine, right? Like you just have to uh, say at least here you can say not all. I don't think so, right? If you have only at zero. Sir, how big okay. the sign is different? If you have one, then one will be at minus one, and other will be going to one. Okay. And also, so it is not continuous. continuous. Okay. Yeah. No. For all, uh, if it's one, then like other one on the left side limit will be also equal. Right? No, no. Then also it will be minus one. Left hand will be minus one, and right hand will be one. So, well, how can we split the minus 1 and 1, sir? Like minus x and x, how can you split it? It is mod x. Whether it is minus or plus, it will always be plus only. Why should we, first of all, uh, uh, split it into minus x and x, sir? Okay, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. So, see, this is limit as x tends to 0, mod x divided by x square, right? Fine. So, what I say is, uh, leave about this limit for now. Just think about this. So, can I say this? As limit as x, okay, limit. I'm I'm just leaving it out. So my mod x by x square. So what does that mean? Uh, when it is positive, right? So it will act like this, right? When x is positive, this will act like this, right? Yes, sir. And when the value is negative, it we wanted to make it as positive, correct? Yes, sir. The same will be the answer for negative so, also. So for that, I I should have this uh, plus of minus x by x square, correct? Okay. This is okay. Okay. No, I, okay. For you, it's fine. So I'm just saying that. <laughs> no, minus x by you oh, also. Yeah. Okay, I'll tell when you. When x is less than zero, it will be. Okay. Uh, so so this is the number line. This is the number line. Okay. It's zero. It's one. This is two. Here it is minus one. Here it is minus two, right? So when I say uh, mod x equals to, so mod x means what? It will give me all always positive positive value, right? numbers. Yes, sir. positive number, right? So suppose if I instead of x, I will have plus one. What should I get? One. one plus one. If if I have minus one, what should I get? One. One minus one, one. into minus one, right? So whatever x I will take here. Multiplying so, it by minus. So this is x, right? So if I, whatever x is here, I should get that x there, right? Something like that. So how, how do I get that? So if I say these all numbers as x, right? I should get all the positive things. So whenever I have uh, all values from like this side, I'll say that this is x. So if I my mod of x, if all these are positive, this will act as x. No issues, right? In that. But when I have this set of values, so I'll say more, uh, so mod of x, if I want, so if these are minus x, right? Inside it minus x, that will be giving me plus x. Right? This correct? Is this correct? Yeah, whatever x is yes, there, you are multiplying by minus 1 so that you are getting x. Right. So this, so this is x. This Okay. So I don't need that mod sign. I'm saying that when I have positive values, I'll say x equals to x. But when I have negative values, what should I do? X equal to minus x. So negative of negative, right? Is it correct? Yes, yes sir. Yes. That will become a positive thing. So that is what I'm just doing here. Okay. Fine. So uh, this x is any value. X is I'm saying x is any value. So when it is positive, this is x. When it is negative, that is minus of that thing, right? So here, let's say if I have one, don't worry. We don't have to worry. Two, no, no need to worry. So whatever the values are there, I am okay with x here. But when I have negative values, so I'll just put one extra negative sign here and minus one. Fine. Instead of x, it is minus one. Instead of x, it is minus two. Instead of minus three. But what is it giving? Positive only, right? So this is can yes, be to this. That's why I have just broken down it to into two pieces. Fine. So this is for. Positive values. This is for 
negative values. So I am saying that. So I'm just putting it now into the limit. Okay. So I'm just saying that this is. Uh, so plus sign, plus sign. Okay, sir. Which one? Which plus sign? So Between see, all, because all values no. are included, right? Now, sir, so so the so so the left uh, hand limit will be minus of minus x, right? I will tell you one minute. We'll go see. That's what I think. Go step wise. So left hand limit and right hand limit will be same. Infinity. Just a minute. Just, just a minute. Just a minute. Just a minute. Two minutes. So first of all, clear. Take a clear picture of this first. So this is this for what? This will take care of what? All positive values, right? Correct. From here to there. This will take care of what? All negative values, right? This both will contribute to what? This, right? This uh -huh. function is giving. This function is validated for what? All the real values. Is it correct? You are understanding the point. Yes, sir. So this this will take care of all the values from zero to here, and this function will take care of all values to that side and that will that is not a different function that is the same function which is modulus of x right i'm just breaking it down to two two parts so that i need not to write the mod sign there fine so if you are okay with this point then i think you are okay with all uh, all the things so if I, so whatever whatever so now this was the this was my idea previously right so mod x by x square is broken down into this these two parts. Fine. So I'm just writing it here. So x by x square plus right plus y y plus now because this will include all real values right because uh, this this part will include only positive reals and but this mod x is applicable to every real value so I have to just include. Uh, some other part which is negative so both of these is no, nothing but this this part right okay so uh, so now yeah, sir, but, sir but why we are here, adding this because it, it, these are two separate things right not separate thing huh? same see this is the function when x is not equal to zero what does that mean maybe x yeah. can be positive and x can be negative sir if we if, if x is minus one so if we put that in this function mod of x upon x square, that will be one, right? Mm. But if I put the same value on the RHS part, so what will be what it will be? One minus one, no, one no. Okay. plus one, okay. one plus one. It will become one two. Middle. Yeah, but this is this is okay. I, I haven't put the limits yet, right? Okay. Right. So from where actually we are going? That is also important, right? Yeah, yeah. So this part is applicable only for what? When right and right and all, all are positive, right? Yeah, yeah. When I have yeah. when I have negative value, should I go here? No, no, no. no. I, I should go directly. So here, right? when x tends to okay, zero, okay. for the right hand limit, you will take the first part. For the left hand limit, you will take the second part. Correct. That's what. Correct, right? Now it's fine. Is it, is it okay now? Yeah, sir. Yeah, that's correct. Right. They, that is what which we have converted into this point now. Correct, sir. But so, instead of doing like it like this, we can't no, we directly is, do like LHS is this and RHS is this. We and, can do. Uh, we can yeah. do. But somebody has asked me the question that why this this part uh, is okay, like okay, this. Okay. Split. That's, okay. That was uh, that's why I gave this explanation. Right. Okay. Okay. Fine. So this is okay. This was the explanation only for that part that why uh, mod of x is can be uh, you know converted into this fine. That is okay. Sir, it is not continuous at any point, right? Yeah, I think it is not. It shouldn't be continuous, right? Because uh, you see, um, no, sir. It's so only she is only at x equal to zero because. Okay. Sir, why it is zero, not continuous? Yeah, it should be. Right sir, it will be continuous, right? Why it is not continuous for it will be continuous. Point, okay. left limit. Fine, fine, fine. Equal to the right hand limit. Correct, yeah. correct, correct. Other than zero. Yeah. No, no, only at zero it is discontinuous. Correct. For other points, uh, uh, it is continuous. 
Right? Because, because you need to have an existing data. But sir, for zero, plus for one, zero, the value is not minus one upon is one is minus one, and right hand limit is one. No, in that, no, no, in that case, you should not be considering this part. When when limit is minus one, right? That part you should not be considering positive side. Right? Why should we consider positive side there? Okay, oh, zero is the point. Sorry. Okay, Z okay, and zero is the point where we are having. Uh, we are actually approaching from. No positive sir. Positive, right? uh, function at one is not continuous, right? Function at number one. Okay. Right. Okay. Why it is not continuous? Why why it one is not continuous? Because from uh, left hand side it is minus one, and from right hand side it is plus one. No, 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 no. It's not like that. Okay, you just think about this number line. When we say left hand side and right hand side, have, we, you have not changed the right function. Right. That is why I think, Mister, the misconception. Okay, okay. Is there. You need no, sir, x by x. Okay. It will be x by x for both the okay. sides. Maybe I'll, I'll just draw the function for mod x. Okay, how it would how it will look like. I think you guys are confusing there itself. Mod, divided by x square will uh, will draw it later. That's not a problem, right? Because x square doesn't uh, like gaining like or maybe but not losing anything there. That's so it's x here, right? It's zero, it's one, it's two, it's three, four. But it will be like a V shape. Yeah, correct. So whatever is there, right? So this is this is what. F of x, right? Where where should I draw this f of x on y axis, right? Is it okay? Yes, yeah, sir. All of you are agreed with this point. Okay. Now, uh, what? How how it will look like? This function will look like. So at x equals to one, what is it? One one. So yeah, so it's a line. It's like yeah. forty-five degree line. Forty-five right? degree. For, from both side and this yeah. side same okay so uh, if you can look at this point so this line right when this line is going uh, uh, or, or whatever positive portion is there is it continuous or is it discontinuous by looking at this okay leave continuous limit, limit continuous. continuous why you are saying that because it, so I, there I, are no I, breaks but what yeah that is right like if, for every point here on the real number line like if you take the smallest point also uh, it's uh, whatever is there on the left side or whatever there is on the right side the value of the function is not changing here right are like okay you are say, okay what i'm saying is let's say if, if i take one point here the anyway the sign is not changing here so whatever the uh, sign from this side, left hand side of this point, and left hand right hand side of this point is another. Uh, one more thing is it's, it's the same. Okay, uh, same thing is happening here also. This side also it is continuous. But what is happening at this point? The the, the value at this point for this function is not same, right? Yes. When when this should be continuous, when this line was like this, correct? If you think about it carefully, so suppose my function was. Sir, are you saying a, like uh, we are like having two functions for this? Yeah, so two different functions at okay, one point, okay. right? And this is this is happening, right? Not two different functions, but it is happening because one side because of because of mod. Yeah. Yeah. So now, if f of x is it is it a continuous function or it's a discontinuous function? Continuous function. F of or, sorry, minus not, x. Uh, not minus x. Okay, minus x will give you this line, but f of x equals to plus x. What is it? Continuous. Continuous. continuous right. At x equals to zero. Continuous. Continuous. Right. Because left hand side of it. Uh, is equal to right hand side of it, right? Yes, sir. Right. Similarly, f of x is equal to minus six. Is it a continuous function or a discontinuous yeah, function? It's a continuous function. Continuous. So what is, okay. And what line it will draw here? F of minus six. The extension of this. Right? The negative slope, yeah. Yes. But now, now what is happening when I use mod of x? 
sir it's like uh, after zero we are having another function and before zero we are having another function it is combining both the functions that right, is why kind of it, and, and that that break is happening there it's just like uh, you, you are not able to uh, going on to that path right so, so like yes, so on the does. same path we are not able to we are, we are deviating from that path and what does that mean the values at that point from the left hand side is different from the value around that point so generally limit we we don't uh, actually we, we are calculating at one point but we take the values of that function around that point right so we are saying that around that zero so around means what 0. 0.0000 0. something that point value is equals to or that functional value at that point is equals to minus 0. 0.0001 or something right so uh, around that vicinity if you are getting the same point of uh, same functional value then we say it as continuous or else we say it as discontinuous what is happening here it's not going on the same line right? it's kind of a two different function at that point so if we have two different functions at one point uh, will it give me the same value no right no it should because once slope is downward right and one slope is upward at that point so that means we have two different uh, uh, functional values at that point are you able to visualize it yes sir so okay so but, if, uh, but it is continuous no? the slope is changing no it's not continuous why right? it's continuous it's not, not continuous, continuous at it's equal, equal to, to zero, zero. It is continuous for other all other points. Sir, but other this points. this is continuous, right? The mod function is also continuous at x is equal to zero, but not differentiable because of sharp point. It is continuous. It is not break. Right. Breaking right. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's true. Mod x is uh, mod x is not okay. differentiable at zero, yeah. but it's yeah, continuous. It's not, okay, it is continuous, right? It is continuous, but it is not differentiable, and because differentiable is actually giving me a slope. Okay, correct. That that point is valid. Okay, fine. But uh, what about this? Now this function mod x divided by x square. Not continuous. So this, how will this function look like? I, we have to draw it. So, okay. So, generally, what is x square? So, this is kind of let's say parabola. Parabola, upward parabola. Upward parabola. Yeah. So, for one, it is one. For two, it is what? It's four, right? So, if I wanted to draw it, it should be like four. It should be come up. Okay. No, but but oh, no. I, I understand. Understand. I understand your point. You are saying that uh, it's not the thing. We have to divide it, right? Yes. So that is not. No, sir. When you are simplifying the function, it is not x square. No, it's x only. Yeah, we'll no. we'll we'll do that first. Yes. Try. You. We'll have we can use this most also. I guess. You guys can try it later. Right. Okay, so this is x square, and when I divide it by like so, mod x divided by x square will give me what actually? One by x. Yeah. So one by x will look like what? But it's on the positive side, right? I should almost like I'm saying that one by x is like on the uh, always on the upward side because all the functions are on upward side, so it should look like what? How do you look like? Uh, so one upon one is one. Uh, one upon minus it will be like rectangular parabola. One, right? Yeah. And one upon two is point five, right? So yeah, it will go like this. Right? I don't know how how it can. This this will go somewhat like this, right? So it will get downward. Sir, we can use the Desmos. Desmos. Sir, it will come from top and then it will slow down. Oh, right, like this. Fine. So now we have to check whether at this point, what is happening there, right? Uh, so at x equals to zero, what is happening there? So the, I think zero. that function is 
not defined at that point right infinity is it not defined yeah not defined not defined so if it is not, not defined not defined means it's not continuous not existing not continuous uh, but is it differentiable no no so yeah yeah definitely right like when the function when is not continuous, not continuous it is not differentiable it is not differentiable yeah, yeah. so if this is true then option b should be correct option and option b should be no not b uh, what is it the function is differentiable a a right sir can i ask one thing sir if the left side limit and the right hand side limit both are coming to be the positive infinity then is it a continuous or discontinuous uh, okay this is the question of i think it's a good question anyway uh, okay generally see this uh, infinity will not say you that uh, okay okay Because actually infinity, i think visually it will be not no, but continuous okay in infinity is not a number the same number right so yes, every sir. time the infinity may change right so what in so let's say i say infinity so left hand side limit is coming as infinity plus infinity for example and right hand side is also coming as plus infinity but whether these two infinities are same or not that is a question right so okay it may be large or see one of the infinities is uh much larger than the the other infinity right they are not going to meet any point right so if you, so i think that shouldn't be continuous we should not consider because it's not defined so maybe some this kind of graphs are there i don't know which uh, some function will give you this graph at x equals to 0 yes sir i think it's log log uh, log this is actually n. mod of 1 by s yes, and also what not log 10 10 yeah. function used to give at discrete so, value so so at this point so, so at x equals to 0 can i say it's continuous or no 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 it is not 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 it is defined actually we, we don't know whether they are going to meet each other at any point or not right yeah yeah so it is, is not answer, even defined yeah so that is that is the answer to the question right okay. so i think this case is defined and they given a value equal to 0 yes okay fine so let's try this out Uh, Shall I solve this with, uh, with you? Maybe uh, because yes, sir. yeah. So limit as what is it? Limit as x tends to zero and pi u x divided by and we got we know that this is continuous. Equals to two k, right? Since we know it's continuous. Okay. So, uh, okay. So what I have to do? I can break this function as tan phi x divided by phi x. Sir, is the answer one by two? I don't know. We have to check. Maybe five by four. Limit as x tends to zero. Sine two x divided by two x into two x. Why I'm doing this? Because I know uh, that. Limit at x tends to zero, tan upon like tan of one, this one. upon this is one, and similarly, the sine of this upon this is also one. So this will give me phi u x limit as x tends to zero on the numerator divided by limit as x tends to zero u x, which is equal to two k. So zero by zero is an indeterminate form. So I have to use a loss rule. So this is like Uh, differentiation of this phi by two uh, equals to two k. So k will be equals to phi by four, which is what is it? One point right? One point two five. One point two five. Yeah. That should be the correct answer. Okay. That. Just uh, yeah. Take your time to solve this.
Let's right, solve it. Hmm. So f of x y is given as three x cube plus four uh, y square plus ten, right? And L of so already we have decided, already we have seen how to find it. So x star of f is equals to what is it? Of x star y star. Uh, here y star is x star is one and y star is one plus del f upon del x. Let's uh, say x star minus x. So x minus x star plus f upon del y y minus y star. Right. Mm. What is del f upon del x? It is nine x square, right? And del f upon del y is eight y. Okay. So if I put and so this is x at x star y star, right? This is also at x star y star. Sorry, it will be six x square, no? Three three is nine, right? It's nine, right? Oh, okay. So three x square. Sorry, sorry. I I have written it three x square. Sorry, sorry. Fine. Sir. So at one one is what nine del f at del y at one one is how much eight okay uh, what is the function value at one one so if I put uh, f of one comma one it is three plus four plus 10, seventeen which is seventeen right okay so all these values I have got now I'll find l star at of f is equals to how much 17 plus uh, nine. Of, uh, 9 into x minus 1 0 0.2 1 plus 8, 8 into y minus 1 y minus 1 this is my linear approximation around 1 comma 1 now we have to find uh, use that uh, approximation to find uh, l of what 1.2 0 0.8 okay so that is 17 plus 9 here it is 1.2 minus 1 plus 8 into 0.8 minus 1. So I'll just I'm just uh, replacing the values of x and y here. So that will become 17 plus 9 into 0.2 plus 8 into minus minus 0.2. Correct. Right. So this is 17 plus uh, 1.8. 1.8. Plus minus, minus 1.6. 1.6. 1.6. So it is 17.02. Uh, Zero. Oh, sorry, sorry. It's two, right? Yes, right. sir. 17.2. Okay. Then we have to find what is the value of f of 1.2. Yeah. So it is nothing but what? Okay. Uh, okay. f of 1.2 and 1.8 we have to uh, find, right? So we have to replace these values here. So f of 1.2.8 is uh, 3 into 1.2 cube plus 4 into 0.8 square plus 10. So can anybody tell me what is the 17.744? 17.744. 7, so what is the difference here now? So 0.244. F of x, sorry, f of 0 0.544. The difference 8 minus L of how 1.8 this 17.7 okay, okay. 17. minus 17.2 what is that 0 0.5 right and the rest value over there yeah yeah you are correct it is uh 0. what is it uh five four four right is it correct hmm? yeah it's correct sir okay fine so and if you ask for enter answer up to two decimal i'll just write 0. 0.45 five four Okay, done. Yeah. Solve this for it. Uh, quadratic approximation of the function f of x equals sine square x at x equals to pi by 4 radio. So maybe I'll solve it along with you. Uh, what is quadratic approximation here? So it is f of x equals to what? f of x star oh, plus. Uh, f dash of x star into x minus x, minus x, star, x star plus f plus double dash of x star, x star by 2 into x, x minus x star whole square. Yeah. Okay. 
So this is approximately equal to. So what is f of x star? So it is sine square x. So sine square of pi by four. This is nothing but sine of pi by four square. So pi by four is what? Ninety by four, which is how many degrees? Ninety by four. Pi is one eighty by four. Sir, one eighty by four. Pi is one eighty. Forty-five. Sine forty-five is what? One by root two. One by root two. Right, and one by root two square is one by two. One by two. One by two. That is my what? F of x star. Right. What is f dash of x? Cos square x. So it is. It's a two sine x cos x. Two sine x into cos x. Cos x. Okay. Okay. So okay. if I put the values of pi by four here, so sine pi by four is one so by root two. One actually. Cos cos. Ha. It? It, it will be one. Yeah, one. So this is equals to one. All right. So it's one into x minus pi by four plus uh, f double dash of x. So so if it f of f dash of x is equals to what two sine x cos x, f double dash of x will be what? Uh, so it will be two sine x into minus sine x plus two cos x into cos x. So it is nothing but uh, minus two sine square x plus two cos square x. Okay. So however you want to write, you can write. So maybe I can say two into cos square x minus sine square x. So yeah, cos uh, pi by four is how much? One by So it is one by so one by root two. So one by root two square is one by two minus one by again it's zero, right? It's coming out to be zero. Is it correct? Yes, sir. I think it's correct. So if I write this approximate equation here, so f of x will be approximately equals to one by two plus x minus pi by four. So you can check which is the correct answer. I think it should be B. and B. Okay. Uh, just look at this ones and see if it is correct or not. Okay, so let's go ahead. The direction of steepest descent for the direction for the function at the point. Okay, <laughs> so generally, what 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 is the direction of steepest descent? It's a gradient. It's a gradient. Gradient at that point, right? So the Six so negative so gradient, right? I mean the yeah. steepest descent. Descent, the most steep. Yeah, negative gradient. So direction of steepest descent. Now let's roll up. Okay. So so it's very good. Sorry. Yeah, I'm just going to note it. Ali. Hello, new year. Okay, so f of x y z is equals to cos x sine y into cos z. This is given to me. Now uh, these are the points pi by four, pi by six, and pi by four for x y z respectively. Now the we have to find the direction of steepest descent. So uh, I say that d u right is equal to what minus del f. Uh, so this is three point right. So It should be what minus del f by del x, uh, minus del f by del y, and minus del f by del x, right at the point. So it is point. Let's say x y z. What is uh, del f by del x? Sine, sine y cos x. Yeah, yeah. Sin y cos x also. Cos z, right? Cos z, yeah, cos z. So. Uh, here, okay, it it should be plus. Minus of minus, it will become plus, right? Because I'm just calculating for minus uh, del f. Okay. Del f by del y is what? Uh, again, minus of plus. so plus. So here, this will become minus cos uh, x, cos, cos y, x, cos y, cos z. Correct. Right. And what about Del f by del z, it's plus cos uh, x. Sorry, cos, cos x, x sine y, sine y, 
and sign, sign there. Said. Yeah, it's correct. Okay, and add points pi by four, pi by six, and pi by four. Pi by four is forty-five degree. Pi by six is thirty degree, and pi by four is forty-five degree. So if I just do the calculations, uh, so sine forty-five is how much? One by, by root two. Sine thirty is how much? One by two. One by two. 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 Uh, into uh, cos forty five is one by root two. By root two. Right. So it's one okay. by four. Ah, uh, here it's minus of cos forty five. One by root two. Cos thirty. One by root two. Root two. Cos thirty. Root two. 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 Right. Into uh, one by cos eight is one by root two. Okay. Cos thirty is one uh, by root two. By root two, sine thirty is one by two. Uh, sine forty five is one by one by root two. So if I do this, it's one, one by, by four. four. Root three by four minus root three by two minus root, root three by four. Four one by four. One by four. Yeah. One by. So these are the points. So this is the direction. So we wanted to find this one only, right? Okay. Yes. We don't want the length of it, right? So wanted the uh, direction of steepest descent. So what is the correct answer? It's one by four minus three by four and one by four. It would be the opposite of it, right? Steepest descent, right? Negative. Of we we started. We have started with uh, minus sign only. Okay. Okay. All all the calculations are with minus. So if you check here, the calculations are with minus. Okay. Sir. So all already it is in the. Uh, sir, in, in what case we divided by the norm? There is something in stupid. So if, when when we wanted that unit vector, right? Okay. So uh, let's say we have get some direction. So let's say some okay, vector. Okay. Okay. Unit vector. I got if it. If I wanted unit vector, we need to divide it by. Divide the. Yeah. Yeah. So generally, that will that concept will be used in your. No, also normal. When you move to matrix, also is important. Also. Sir, until and unless we are not told that uh, provide the answer in the uh, uh, provide the answer in the unit. Uh, yeah, unit vector also. Yeah, you should not um, do that. Okay, okay. Fine. Okay, this is okay. Okay. So the next question is, what will be the directional derivative at point <laughs> along with the direction given by the unit vector? What is direction directional derivative? It's gradient of point dot product with this vector. Ah, so that is what du, right? Directional derivative. Yeah. That means direction of maybe uh, steepest ascent. You can say right now. If I wanted the positive thing here and du of f into let's say this is the vector u. No, right? My directional derivative. Okay, so yeah, if this is function x y z at this point, so first of all I have to find what so del f into what this is, right? So I am yes, just considering this as u u bar. Okay, now uh, f is equals to x y z. Del f will be what? Del f by del x, del f by del y, del f by del z, right? So uh, what is it? Y del f by del x is y z uh, y z x y z x z x y right. And what which point? Minus one, one, two. So del f will be so. So del f will be equals to two 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 minus two minus two minus one, one minus one minus one. Okay, right. Okay, now I wanted to find uh, the unit vector of this. So u bar upon norm of u bar equals to what? It's like uh, okay. First of all, can so I find out in the unit vector form? Okay, it's already in unit vector. Okay, fine. It's yeah. How is y z uh, is uh, it is is it not minus two? First one. Y z is minus two, right? 
no why this is x oh why is it is is yeah yeah okay 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 right? yeah okay so uh, in this uh, already i have given the unit vectors so i'll just uh, use the dot product dot product right? yeah so uh, what is it like it's two uh, i'll write this in this format 2 minus 2 minus 1 uh, product with what 1 by 3 minus 2 by 3 2 by 3 so if i do the multiplication uh, 2 by 3 2 by 3 4 by 3 uh, plus 4 by 3 plus Min minus 2 by 3 plus minus eight. 2 by 3 sir minus 2 by 3 Oh, okay. 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 Minus, oh, minus one into yeah. this will be down. Four by three. It's one point. Uh, how much it is? Three three. three. Yeah. Okay. So this is my directional derivative. Uh, so understand, right? So if it is not given, so actually I didn't uh, read it properly. So unit vector is given. So if the unit vector is not given, uh, suppose the vector was like this. So let's say u is equals to u bar is equals to one. Minus two and two. Okay. In, in the okay. So if it is in this format, then I should have to what? I have to find <laughs> zero yeah. norm is root of one square, a square minus two square, two square plus, plus square. So which is root of nine is three. Then yeah. my vector will become this. Okay. Yeah. 1 by 3 minus 2 by 3, 2 by 3. Okay, I don't know. I think this is the last example of today's session. So which of the following can be the equation of the line passing through point 1, 1, 1 and normal to the tangent of this function at the point 1, 1, 1. What is it? What is what is your trying to find it here first? Of all? Tangent. Hmm. So we can calculate the gradient at the point 1, 1, 1. Mm -hmm. And whatever the gradient we, we would get, that would be the scale. I mean, uh, alongside one one one, we can write the. Uh, I mean, lambda times that gradient value at the at the point one one one, and uh, we can. I mean, that would be the line passing through mm -hmm. through the point. Correct, correct. So shall I solve it? Uh, okay, just tell me. Okay, fine. That is okay. Uh, maybe I'll solve it along with you only. Or yes, if you sir. want time, then uh, maybe it's not required. Right? Like we we'll, we'll just try to solve it. So this is the function, right? F of maybe x, y, z, which is x square plus y, z plus z square, right? It's function. So any tangent to the curve, what is it like? First of all, okay, let's say this is the curve, okay? So if if any tangent, okay, I, some curve is like this. Tangent to this point is this, right? Okay, but how to find this? This is actually a derivative to that, right? The differentiation to that point, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Find uh, what is the line passing through that point and normal to tangent. Normal means what? Perpendicular, right? Tangent. So we wanted to find the equation of this line. Is it correct? Yes, sir. So yeah. first of all, we'll we'll find out the tangent at this point, and then. If you, because you know so you know when you know this point then you will be able to find the equation of line right so it's easier for you to do that right? so this two dimensional case i'm just talking about we are dealing with three dimensions so that we, that means we're not able to visualize this right but this is the idea of it normal to the tangent means it's a perpendicular to that curve at that point you can see so firstly uh, we are fi finding the tangent and uh, yes that tangent, we are finding normal right so how sir, to find tangent? after sir after finding tangent we can use this property that dot product is zero when it is perpendicular yes that also you can use yes fine. yes it is okay uh, so uh, how to find it so again del f right that's a uh, that's the thing we can use actually so del f at del x is what two x two x with respect to y is what z z which with respect to z is y plus two z two z two z and at one 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 so i'll find it at two one three uh, three, three. Okay. fine so uh what are what are they uh fine so so can i write it like this or should i write this is fine or it's okay is it okay Okay, fine. 
so okay after this what should i do find the normal of it so i wanted to find the equation of this line right you are understand right like, we have to we have to find the equation of that line so one one is what one case is what i should say that this del f is equal to 0 uh at this point at this vector right maybe is equals to zero right okay sir by, but why we are doing norm why we are dividing no, by you no 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 i'm just saying that okay you need why do i just find yeah just directly we can also do yeah you can do but generally okay fine you wanted to do in that way. so what 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 i have to uh, take a dot product of sir x y z Sir, uh, to find the equation of the tangent, uh, can't we uh, can't we use that uh, linear approximation uh, formula, sir? That is also the equation of the tangent. Yes, formula. yes, yes. That also you can use. Yeah. Uh, but how you use it uh, for three-dimensional case? Yeah, we can do. Yes. Two-dimensional, they have yeah. Like yeah. This is this is this is a way actually. Okay, fine. So how to do that is. Uh, let's say f i can say it's uh f of x star but okay then it should be like f of x star y star and z star plus del of uh, x right of this into x minus x star so if you tell me i can use uh, directly i can write it directly here so it is f of x y z uh, so x y z it's one, one plus what is it? It's one, okay, plus one, three, right? Three plus uh, del f by del x is what? Two, two x, two x. That means one into x minus one plus one. Uh, del f one by del y is what? Z only one. one, one into what? Uh, so I can say okay. I have already I find out here, right? So y minus one, one plus three. Z minus one. This is linear approximation at start. Fine. X, that means what? Whatever that x x y star. What 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 should we do next? So this is a this is one line, right? This is one line at that point. Or or that uh, tan uh, uh, tangent to that curve, maybe tangent to this function, right? But now next, what I have to find? I have to find the normal to that curve, uh, normal to that uh, tangent. What should I do next? Sir, why we are doing this? Because one point we are having one one one. Hmm. The equations one point we are having one one one, and right. the other point it is saying that uh, it it is the point that is uh, the tangent at point one one one, right? So that is the same point, huh? Yeah, sir. So one point we are having one one one, and uh, directly putting one 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 onto the tangent, we can get the equation, right? No, how can I don't know. Like, no, no, sir. Actually, his what question is saying that the line is passing through one, 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 and hmm. normal to the tangent at point one, one, one. So where uh, the tangent of the function to one, one, one will be different from one, 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 right? Okay. Okay. So I'll try to realize this. Fine. We just Can need you... to find the tangent at one, 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 and we are done, I guess. No, no. So let's say this is this is uh, the curve, okay? This is fine. Okay. Uh, if let's say this is point one one one, what is the tangent to this line one one one? Some line passing through it, right? Huh? Okay. Is it correct? This is correct. Or maybe okay. I'm just. No, it's, it wrong. it's wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. Not able to draw this curve. I wanted to show it. Okay, let's say this is point one one one. 
this line is tangent yes, this sir. curve this curve at least right yeah. at point 111 this is touching at this point right yeah. this is tangent i wanted to find the equation of that line which is tangent to this curve uh, so, uh, sorry which is passing through that curve and what or or which is passing through this point and the tan and normal to this tangent right this is okay. the tangent so normal to this tangent means which line it can be up for all yeah yeah this line no this is the line this yeah, is line yeah, this can is. be not this is the line yeah this it is perpendicular right. right so i wanted to find that one so whatever we found out with del f is what or we, or maybe with linear approximation is what the same this line right the equation yes, of sir. this line i have found yes. out the equation of this line now i wanted to find the equation of line which is perpendicular to this line and passing through 111 1, right okay so tell me now I, all of you have studied the uh, mathematics first uh, math yes one. sir yeah maths too yeah whatever okay maths one or maths two. somewhere you sir we can find the slope of the tangent yeah we can find the normal to this gradient and use that to find an equation the same way sir i think dot product that point, sir, we, sir, we, can, we can find a uh, vector normal to 2 1 3 and then we can apply the same equation for the line equation right f of a b c plus this gradient into x minus a y minus b we have the point hmm. we can get the so okay so this, to this and apply the equation del f is what the same del f is uh, so uh, one line one gradient that's perpendicular to this so okay okay what should i do next that is my question think about it we have five minutes uh, we are doing Sir, I think there will uh, somewhere there will be a dot product concept. I do. I think so. No dot product should be there, right? Like uh, because it is perpendicular. That means it is saying there will be dot product that will solve our question. If we take like uh, minus one, two, three, it will be perpendicular to this, right? And from there, like we can apply that point, like the same equation. Maybe you can get a like, perpendicular to. We have a point and we have the slope of the gradient yeah. and minus BAC or something like that. The perpendicular to this is minus one, two, three will be perpendicular to this, right? Minus one, minus two. Okay, sign has written something. Sir, uh, Sarath actually asked for the gradient vector that she calculated. Sorry. So I just told him that one actually. No, but that is the answer actually. Sir, that has to be the answer. I mean, otherwise yes. you can just uh, calculate the negative gradient. Uh -huh. And that would be the normal, but that's illogical for this case. I mean, if, okay. if, so, if you draw so it on the there, 3D, there is, okay. 3D George Abra, the the answer is this some lambda so this is like we ha we have to add one more equation one more thing here. right is the correct answer. So, and why do we add the transpose of one one one? 
okay so it's, it's kind of uh, uh, okay how how do you generally find out uh, equation of a line so lambda is nothing but what actually some constant right? mixed yeah so so it's kind of uh, uh, I, how can i say it's a direction so uh, you, you are just uh, multiplying multiple. something right so it's a multiple of that thing so it is a vector 2 1 3 is a vector you can multiply it like many times right? like it's not a problem if you have it or not having it, it's not a problem in the right so this is one point the gradient is actually uh, uh so you know okay, how to say this one maybe okay you just uh, check uh, the equations of line okay i'll just maybe you can just check this one maybe you can think about this the answer is this so this is for you to uh, check okay Maybe next sir, class you can uh, come and sir when we simplify this uh, tangent equation mm -hmm. whichever you whatever you have written l x star is three mm -hmm. plus two into x minus one that mm -hmm. one we get two x plus y plus three z minus three so mm -hmm. there is two x plus y okay I'm, I'm just writing whatever you're saying okay no no i'm uh, i didn't say this i said two the end result is two x yeah. plus y Plus three z. No, there is no okay. three. There is no three in the beginning. Here? Yeah. No, there is no three at the beginning. Whatever you have written finally. Okay. What? It is. It starts with two x. No, I have simplified that equation. Last term is last term oh. is minus three. Yeah. Last term is minus three. Last term is minus two x. It is two x plus y. Minus plus three z. Plus three z minus three is the equation of the tangent. So minus three. How come it's like minus one minus one? It is only minus three. Uh, three z minus three, not three z minus one. Yeah. Oh, z oh, minus oh, oh, okay, okay, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Now nah, then it's fine, right? Yeah. It's correct. So this is the equation of the tangent line. Hmm. So, so if you take two and three, the same gradient wouldn't be along this line. If you are taking it the same one, two and okay, three. Okay, fine, fine. So, okay, just uh, do one thing. You guys yes. uh, uh, think about this problem. Okay. okay sir. Uh, while coming to next, uh, maybe you can solve sir, it. Or maybe can, uh, sir, I think it's option B. Like uh, someone said. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Sir, yes. Yeah, two one three is actually the value of the gradient, right? So, uh, I mean, the uh, value of the yeah, we, which we get for the gradient is that one one one. So mm. it's uh, like r. Uh, yeah. So it should be perpendicular to that. So minus two one one, the second option is perpendicular to that. I think B is the answer. Okay, think about it. All of you think about it. Uh, so I'm just stopping the streaming here. Uh, okay, so okay, anyway, that's.